If you are a CPAP user, there is a way that you can get respirator clean air in your CPAP machine while you sleep. It's these inline filters that you put between your mask and your CPAP unit. But they all look the same, but perform radically differently. So I tested a whole bunch of them, many of them given to me by Amazon for review to see how well they worked. First, I tested them by attaching them directly to this particle count testing machine, and they all did pretty well, some better than others. But that is a low flow testing machine at about 0.7 liters per minute of airflow. Filters work worse at higher airflows like you'd get in a CPAP machine. So I attached the filters directly in line with a CPAP machine and a mask and wore it. And when I did that, the results were dramatically different. Uh, some of the filters, like these ZF007 filters, went down to below 50%, and the MetaHealer ones went down to zero. But this hard-to-find prescription pleated filter stayed at 100% filtration. Of the filters Amazon sent me for review, the best of them are these ZF007 filters sold by multiple companies under their own brand names. They come generically packaged but have the reference code ZF007 on them. The manufacturer claims that they have great uh, Nelson Lab data for viral and bacterial filtration. This bad boy that got the 100% filtration ratings is a hospital-grade ventilator filter, and it is prescription-only and expensive. So you might not be able to get your hands on one, and that brings up an important question. Should you even use an inline filter? Ask your medical provider if it's okay for your treatment and your machine. My machine has a setting for when you use inline filters to compensate for the pressure loss but it might over or undercompensate for it. And you might even need to raise your uh, upper limit for your APAP pressure range. Another question is whether it's okay to use your humidifier with an inline filter, and the safe answer is no. But some listings say it's okay, the Amazon listings did not say. The problem is that water can collect on the CPAP side of the filter and clog the airflow. So if you are using it with a humidifier, um, you need to make sure you keep condensation off of it. The CPAP side of the filter needs to stay down so it doesn't collect on it. Uh, also, when you're connecting it to your machine, if you have a heated hose, you can't put it in between your machine and the hose because there's no electrical connection and your heated hose won't work. And you want the heated hose to keep the condensation out of your hose that would clog your filter.